Good morning, afternoon, or evening, depending on your time zone. How are y'all today? Hopefully you are well. So, in the last episode of Renegade Platinum, which, by the way, this is episode 9, for those keeping track, we ended up losing a team member, but it's okay. It's alright. Surge got us through the gym with Dragon Claw, Crunch, Rock Slide, and Wing Attack. He's now level 34. We have Chris Motionless, our Mystic Water Holding War Turtle with Muddy Water Bite, Protect, and Water Pulse. And we got Big Lemmy. The Scope Lens Holding Torterra with Rock Slide, Curse, Earthquake, and Seed Bomb. We're going to rock out with these three because we have a lot of encounters coming up here so soon. So we got Route 206, Wayward Cave, and a few other things we have to do yet. But we gotta clear out this Team Galactic headquarter quick. You only have two moms and one's a bug. Get wing attacked, bro. Later, let in. <laughs> but yeah, man. Like, I'm kind of excited. Got a lot of cool things coming up as far as content plans and whatnot. Last episode, I mentioned the Mortal Kombat playthrough we're doing on the Twitch channel. Follow. You know you wanna. <laughs> anyway, all that aside. We got a lot of cool stuff coming. Uh, I have our next Let's Play figured out, by the way. It is another Pokemon one, by the way. So we got another Pokemon LP coming your way soon. one anyways like so our next LP is gonna be a Pokemon one I haven't decided which one yet and uh, Wonderlink has been going well at the time of this recording I'm doing a Wonderlink on our Twitch channel with another friend of mine their name is Jacob does stuff link will be down below ski And whatnot. So, you know, we're keeping ourselves busy over here. That's why I only have like one day a week to do YouTube stuff. And you know, it's kind of nice. That way I can just focus all my energy that day into this. And yeah, and I do respond to your comments as soon as I get them, by the way. If you're watching this in the future, and let's just say I'm a lot bigger than I am now, I probably won't, but... Thunder Wave! There we go. But yeah, I, I try to stay as transparent with you guys as I can, you know, responding to comments and whatnot. Hitting you up on Twitter, all the fun stuff. And, you know, it's kind of nice, you know, just sitting back and just chilling and recording some gameplay. Oh, six mons in this double battle, huh? Coughing and Ekans. Intimidate, and then I'm going to pop off pressure. We're going to rock slide into a water... Holes on the coffin. Because I felt the coughing was gonna tank that a little bit, but. And there we go, rib. Ooh. We should have a Blastoise soon now that I'm thinking about it. Of course, you paralyze the Aerodactyl, the one that's the biggest threat. Look at you. 
Look at you being a threat assessor. Alright, so we are actually going to Dragon Claw the Ekans, and we are going to swap out of Chris and go into Lemmy. Reason being, I have a flying type on the field. So I should... Really, bro? Paralyze both my mons now? Ooh, and set up a Toxic Spike. Okay. And the Ekans is down. What you think they're gonna send out the female Neater in here? Yup. Alright, I'm gonna use Surge's turn to... Ch no, Cherry Berry is paralyzed. I need Petcha. I'm gonna use Surge's turn to... Okay, I was paralyzed. I thought I was poisoned for some unknown reason. My brain just totally botched. But yes, we're using Surge's turn to heal Le Lemmy there. And then we're gonna EQ. Need a ran helping hand, okay. And EQ will not hit the Aerodactyl, because flying type. But that should be Oko's on the Nidos. Oko's on the Nidos, yeah. Ooh, that was a good net crack. Alright, that's both of them out. Now, what's coming up next? Oh, hey, Lemmy's 33. Stunky, and I do believe... Glammy yeah. Alright, again. So we're going to use Surge's turn to heal Surge this time. And then we're free to click EQ. So that's exactly what we're going to do. Just drop this Earthquake. Don't, don't, duh, doesn't affect Surge. Flying type. There we go. Glammeow is Dunzo. And the Stunky should be Dunzo as well. There we go. Alright, no other level ups to concern ourselves with. There we go. Let me just, uh, yeet past this guy. Later, nerd. RIP! As I get I get this wrong like every time. <laughs> I'm a scrub, I'm a scrub. Okay. Intimidate again, pressure, rock slide. Stab and super effective will counteract the Intimidate. You know, if you only trained your Hound Hour one more level, it would have evolved, and you'd suck a little less, Grunt. Scotopy! Actually, I probably should have swapped out. Then again, it is still a bug type as Scorupy, so it'll still be weak to rock. Then Beautifly, we're gonna stay in because again, quad weak to quad weak to rock. And that's a kill. Let's go. Surge, don't give a fuck about you. What do you think I'm? What do you, I think I'm doing? Getting dubs, fam. The wise glasses. I. Alright. Stole it from a weak trainer. Well, pff, when you steal a weak Pokemon, you think you're actually gonna get wins. That moment.
that moment when uh, rare doesn't always translate to strong. Let's wing attack here. So I'm kind of sad, guys. So I was watching my buddy's stream earlier. And... Because we were in a voice call together, I go to turn my mic back on, and the blue insignia on my mic just fell off. Thankfully, it's just like, you know, a cosmetic thing. Uh, talking about New World Orders and stuff, and it's like, Little do you know, friend! Alright, nice and crunch. Let's go. Get out of here, drowsy. Okay, there's the Matang, and I think Drayano removed the steel resistance. Yes, he did. go. And then Kadab, bruh. I feel like in Sword and Shield they should totally make Kadabra dab when he comes out of the Pokeball. Like when he goes to dab, the spoons will, the spoon will go in a full circle and come back to his hand. It'd be pretty cool. At least I think so, anyway. I want to go to that other room. I need those items. Hopefully this nerd doesn't want to fight. Okay, he doesn't. Lie screen! Reflect! <laughs> Singing TMs. That's what's happening. <laughs> Because, you know, figure why not, right? Alright. Important flight time. After I get the secret key! Wanna fight, nerd? Important battles are important to the progression. <laughs> Some of these double, these double bass drum usages in here. Double bass kicks, I like it. I wonder if there's a good metal remix of this song. There probably is. Link me in the comments, y'all. Y'all, I'll stay in. I couldn't stay in on the last Tangela I fought because... Because uh, I was paralyzed the turn before. Leech Seed, okay. You're not going to get much benefit from that because you're literally dead this turn. Like, quite literally dead this turn. So, uh, yeet. All right. And we got Sableye. I don't have a fairy move, so we're just gonna click wing. Okay, get faked out first. Then we're gonna click wing attack. I mean, either way, it stabs, so. It should be a KO if it. Uh, okay. Lived on half. He's. Citrus Berry, okay. I forgot about Leech Seed!
That was my dumb move. I need to stop killing things. Okay. Like, I completely forgot that the leech seed was there. Completely forgot. Oh man. Oh, it farted. <laughs> Poison jab. Okay, but it's still gonna get rocked by this EQ. Jupiter is down, down in an earlier realm. Okay, so now we has the secret key. and Giftmon! Well, that came in clutch. We're gonna name him... Hmm. Let's name this Porygon... What, what, what is the dude's last name? Got it. We're gonna name Mansoor after periphery guitarist Misha Mansoor. Also known as Light Bulb, for those that wanted to know. I'm always good down with a good fun fact every once in a while. know is secret key it has to be used at a specific location okay I need healing and to deposit my aerodactyl well looks like our next grinding time is coming soon y'all F's in the chat. Now, here's what I want to know. Do I have an upgrade? I do not. Okay. I'm going to have to find one and acquire healing. And I'd also need to find where the dubious disc is as well. Because I mean, you know, EV light pouring on twos are nothing to mess with, but I like hitting things and hitting things really hard. So <laughs> that's not the right house. Hello, Cynthia. What, how do you do? Um. I do believe that's gonna be a happening. Which I'm probably not gonna. Or it was either happening or Togepi. One of the two. Dawnstone.
That'll be good to know if I obtain Ralphs again. Now, what do I need the secret key for? Alright. So, what's gonna happen is we are going to do a quick little jump cut to when this egg hatches. So, I will see you shortly. Well, or not. Because, <laughs> uh, I forget how quick eggs hatch in this game. See, because here, here, I was prepared, you know. That's how you gave me a Dawnstone. Togepi and a Togekiss. We are going to name him... Shinoda. For the other part of Lincoln Park named Mike Shinoda. Well, the other vocalist of Lincoln Park, I should say. Rest in peace, Chester. Okay, now... I need healing. <laughs> need healing. I mean, a toga kiss would be absolutely amazing to have. But at the same time, we gotta do a party rework. Okay, you don't have an item, but you're at level 22. Adamant nature. Gross. Disgusting. So you're gonna go in there. But I lost my rock and my flying type. Let's take a look at you. You are Serene Grace, okay. Disarming voice, charm, extra sensory grow. Okay. Once I find a good way to, or off, I'll off-screen friendship grind too. So that's just, okay. So now, we have grass, ground, and water as our team comp right now in... I mean, I could go Sully, but... Eh. Joan would be nice. And when I evolve it in... Because it just has to evolve in Mount Coronet. I'm pretty sure it just has to level up once in there and I can get Provo fast. Gene the Totodile would be kind of cool. Then he'd be Rock Steel when he's Provo Pass. Um, here's what we shall do. We're gonna heal. We're gonna get every available encounter on our way to Heart Home City and then decide on a team comp. We're gonna get every encounter possible. They'll yell at me if I'm not on a bike. I do believe we can get encounters here now. We're riding down. Yeah, I believe we can now get through here. So. Because there's Route 207, so. So our Route 206 in... Do I have Pokeballs? Four, seven, and nine. Okay. And our Route 206 encounter is... A Spoink. I mean... I don't use Spoink too much. 
or at all, in fact. I haven't really ever used Grumping, so... We're gonna just speed past the catching portion. I'll stop to heal if I need to. There we go. But we still have... Uh, I might come back for Wayward Cave, honestly. We're gonna name him... Dimebag. After Dimebag Daryl. He was a big chunky dude, and Grumpig's a chunky guy. So... Let me... There were magpies here! Oh, and gligers! I could've had that, but no! Get a goddamn, uh... Yeah, I only sped up to Orberg so I can go to the Pokemon Mart. What kind of items can I buy from you? Okay, I buy Pokeballs and I buy... I buy Din. I'm gonna actually gonna buy two more. I'm gonna buy three more sets of ten. Uh, let me see if I buy twenty. What's gonna happen? Okay, it's just a premier ball. So let's get nineteen. Eleven. By 18 super potions. Do we have access to full heals yet? No, we don't. Okay, we already did our. Mount Coronet encounter. We have... Oh, I think... Oh yeah, I remember now. The ancient... The Wayward Cave event is kind of mandatory. Because Drayano made that a thing in this game. I am salt with my... Uh, Multi, with, not multi, with my uh, companions that you get stuck with in the game. Gyro ball. And there were slugma. Let's get off the bike. Other side of the open. Gliger. Alright, Thunderstone. Nice. I don't really. Nerd. Hey. Hey, Torkoal. Muddy Water. Hey, Torkoal. Muddy Water. Cave encounter. And it is a gibble. That's dope. And I didn't hear 
So Mira can't kill my Pokemon. This thing has Dragon Rage! We speed to catch. Healing. Come on, Gibble. Now I'm in dragon range. I can't hit it either, so... Come on. to catch you. No! It's like, stop dragon raging me! Come on, stay in the ball. About time. <laughs> Because that was going to be a bitch to do had I not sped up. So we're going to name this one... What do you name a Lady Garchomp that's a rock and roll singer? Janice. Obviously, after Rock and Roll Idol of the 60s, Janice Joplin. Now, I could go down there and do the whole Gabite event, but now that's kind of dupes. So... save right here and call it an episode from there so if y'all enjoyed it leave like comment subscribe comment down below that getting gibble dance if you made it this far make sure to follow the twitch page we're live every wednesday through sunday and i will see you soon good day goodbye and good night